I spoke with uh, Broken Arrow Public School leaders and they handed me this pamphlet. They say it details exactly what every penny of this bond will be used for. Now, more than half of the $370 million bond will be used to build new schools or expand existing ones. Next is building activity facilities, followed by security and maintenance. Technology and transportation are also on the list. School leaders say this is not a new tax. It is an extension of an already ex existing tax. In order for us to maintain the level of excellence that we have here in Broken Arrow, we've got to add more facilities. We've got to keep up the facilities that we currently have. And that's why I think people are really supporting this because they understand the desperate need for those classrooms. We've got to get them built pretty quickly. Now, this is a look at the district's website where you can find out more details about this bond. You can also head to our website, kjrh.com, for a link. And Jinx and Union Public Schools will also have bonds on February 10th. Live near downtown, Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you.